the crux of Infonomics, there's three components to it. And that is monetizing data as an asset, managing data as an asset, and measuring data as an asset. Um, and the way they all fit together is that, um, you know, there's the old adage that you can't manage what you don't measure, right? And, and I think, you know, my hypothesis has been being in the industry for several decades is that many companies don't manage their data particularly well, certainly when it, it, compared to the way that they manage other assets. I mean, most companies manage their, you know, their office furniture with more discipline than the way they manage their data assets. Why? Because it's a, it's a balance sheet asset. Um, but I also think it follows that you can't monetize or you can't generate ec uh, economic benefits from anything that you're not managing well. So for many organizations, this tends to be kind of a vicious cycle of not measuring their, their data in any way. Um, it's potential value, it's actual value, it's quality characteristics or anything like that. And therefore they're not in a position to get the kinds of resources or uh, focus that they need to manage it as an asset. And therefore, because it's not managed well, maybe it's not as complete as correct or available um, or as well integrated as, as it ought to be, um, it, it's not as monetizable um, as, as it should be. And by, again, by monetizing data, I'm not talking about just selling data, but generating any kind of value stream from data. We'll get to that in a moment. So the idea behind Infonomics is to kind of, re, as we say here in Chicago, we Cubs fans uh, say, talk about reversing the curse, right? And so uh, by starting with measuring data, you're in a better position to manage it better and then in a better position to generate value from it. So that's really, um, if there's really any kind of one takeaway from this um, um, other than kind of the economic uh, characteristics, this is, this is it. 